Hi, welcome to a Chip Off the Old Block Toys. I'm Jeff here, and today it's going to be the review of the Loop Coaster. This is set number 10303, and just was released on July 1st, and today is um, middle of August. So anyway, um, we've been through a lot <laughs> building this, but anyway, I'm going to get to this. Uh, this set, it, it has 3,756 pieces and 11 minifigures. And I do like this uh, set in general. And, well, as you see, I had to zoom way out so you guys can see the whole thing. That's how large this thing is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and we're going to go over this section first. And then we're going to go over this section, and then we're going to talk about the four things that we always do, value, creativity, playability, and ease of build. And we're going to talk about the things that I like and I don't like about this set. So let's go ahead and let's work on this. Okay, so this one, just like the other roller coaster, does have some vendors. And I do have the other roller coaster, and I will bring it out here in a minute. But I like this guy here. Very creative. You've got different balloons, and then it's got, and I know you can't see it very well, but it has the little poodle balloons, you know, like the ones they shape up. And I don't know what this is supposed to be. Maybe a helium tank, um, this little brown thing. But uh, anyway, really cool. I love the hot dog vendor. The only thing I would have done differently if I was building this, I would have put it on wheels so it can move. Uh, since it doesn't have a permanent spot on the coaster, it probably should have wheels to be portable. But I do like it. I like the ketchup and mustard little um, things. It's a nice little touch. I like the grill. I like the shape of the hot dog on the end. And then we've got the pretzel guy i do like it as well i would have put two more pretzels because on the back side there is a spot for it on the stick and well anyway i would have done that i do like this right here park bench where people uh, can relax while you know maybe you know if grandma and grandpa have the grandkids and they don't want to ride the roller coaster or maybe mom and dad don't like roller coasters and they're waiting for the kids great spot to wait love the map and of course, you know, like every park setting, there's always squirrels. There just is. All right, so let's go ahead and let's move these to the side. And let's discuss the minifigures. There are, well, I said there was 11, but I'm actually, no, no, there's 11. Okay, all right. The Lego employee, pretty cool. Pretty normal looking hair and all that. And then you got her. I don't know what she's wearing. Um, and we got Mr. Red-haired dude, gal, excuse me. Gray haired, this is the grandma, the one with the worried face, the one who doesn't want to ride the ride. She'll be sitting on the bench. And we got this guy here with a kind of like a new age cool shirt thing looking thing. And you got this guy, he would be the blue vendor. He's got balloons and stuff on him. <laughs> and this is the hot dog vendor. Uh, this is the Elvis lookalike, by the way. And just a little kid enjoying the day at the park. It looks like another park employee, maybe the pretzel girl. And this one, well, she's blue haired and she's got some flowers on her shirt with a vest. And I actually dig this character and I'm gonna tell you why. I have a niece, her name is Kylie. Um, she's gonna be 15 this month. Anyway, this hair is definitely her hair. And so I dig this character, I think it's really cool. And anyway, all right. Let's go over the roller coaster, and this one's going to take several shots to get this done. And let's start with this part here. Okay, let's start off with what I like about the roller coaster. I like a lot of little details. I like the double loops. I like the fact they actually work. Um, and what I mean by that is I've ran this several times, and they've never gotten caught up. This thing has so much inertia coming down. Uh, the slide here because it's straight down that it does not get hung up on either one of them I think that's great um, first time Lego's ever done that the other roller coaster does not have the loops upside down loops so I think it's great I love the little touch with the camera here and if you can't really see it but on the inside here they've got pictures of people riding the roller coasters and their funny faces many roller coasters have that in America now um, I'm not sure about the rest of the world but uh, and you can buy those pictures, so I think that's a really cool, nice touch. Um, they have a little trash can here, I like, and that's through the entrance, and I like how they have it, the dirt, because that's what would happen. If you had a path that was green and people were walking on it that much, it'd become dirt. Uh, you would think that a amusement park could afford cement, but who knows. 
Um, I like the balloon that's caught here, and that's a really nice touch. I like this right here, this wheel, because it um, sometimes the roller coaster does get caught on the end, and sometimes it doesn't. That stops it, so that no matter if it's going too fast or if it just doesn't have enough oomph, it catches it and it'll take it the rest of the way. So I do like that touch, really nice touch. I love the station. The station's very simple, and you know it would be just like a regular uh, roller coaster where you, you have the line coming in, and then when you get there, it splits up so that you can go in the different cars. What's really funny though, is that Lego made four spots um, to wait, but there's only three cars on the train. So where the fourth one would go, I don't know. But uh, small minor detail. Um, I do um, also like the fact that the roller coaster, it, I think it's pretty sturdy. Some people, I've, I've watched some reviews and some people have criticized how weak it is. I don't find that it's weak. Um, if you move it, it will break, yes, but as far as operating it, no, it won't. So let's get into what I don't like about the roller coaster. Okay, so what I don't like about the roller coaster is the fact that the chain. I counted exactly the 222 smaller links that they asked for. It's too much. I have experimented. I took off three of them, and with that being really tight, it does work a lot better but I put it back on for the review so that you can see what I'm talking about. Now, when I keep this thing stored in my personal collection, I'm gonna remove those extra links. Well, those, because it causes slack. See, look at that. So I don't like that, I think it's a very poor design. And then when you get to the top, the roller coaster doesn't, look at that, it gets caught up. So you have to kind of help it, and I don't like that. And I did forget to mention that one of the things I do like is this little stop right here. It's fed by gravity, so if the roller coaster gets there before the um, elevator gets there, it won't fall off the track. That's a really cool feature. But I don't like the chain. I don't like the fact that it gets caught up here. I think that's very weak. Um, another thing I don't like is the station. I was mentioning before that it has four spots, but you only have one train with three slots. So the fourth line, where it goes, I don't know. And the other thing that I don't like is the fact there's only one train. The other roller coaster has the other train, has two trains. And it has this little straight piece where it slides back and it has a second train. So I don't like that aspect of it. This roller coaster, let's hope they built it better than the one in the UK. And if you don't know what happened um, earlier this week in the UK, Legoland had an accident with the roller coaster. So I'll put a link in the description if you want to read the story. And see, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. It's caught up right there. Oh, look at that. It is just like the real one. Anyway, all right. So I, this is uh, the roller coaster right here. Let's talk about the four things that I do. Uh, I evaluate on value, creativity, playability, and ease of build. Value, I'm going to give it an eight. I do like the price point. It's $399.99 at 3,756 pieces. That does come out to 10.6 cents per piece, which is not a bad ratio, especially since Lego prices just went up about 25%. This is still a great value for the piece point. So nothing docked off for that. What got docked off was the things that I don't like. The fact that they didn't build the um, chain, it's just too loose. Um, and you know the other things that I mentioned. And creativity though, I will give it a 10. This is the first time they've done a loop roller coaster. So definitely kudos to that. That's a great idea, awesome, love it. Um, the other thing is the chain. So yeah, um, or I'm sorry, playability, I'm sorry. It, uh, I don't like the fact that it hangs up. I don't like the fact that the, there's only one train and I don't like the fact that it slips, that the chain does. So playability, I only give it a seven. Ease of build, I'll give it an eight. This is a challenging build, but not too challenging. And because it's somewhat challenging, I give it a few points off. So now the only thing left is to bring out the other roller coaster to compare the two side by side. To start off with, you can see the loop roller coaster is much higher. And I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. You need enough inertia from the train to be able to give enough inertia to go through the loops. 
So that's pretty self-explanatory, but let's do a close up of the old roller coaster, which by the way, that was Lego set 10261 and it came out in 2018. So it's only a couple years old. I really do like it though. And let's talk about it. 4,080 pieces and it has the same amount, 11 minifigures. Now, this one had the same problem as a loop roller coaster where the chain, the chain's a problem. But I have adjusted mine so that the, train, the chain is not a problem. And it did come with the two trains like I was talking about, one here and one here and the extra track here. They did do the station right where there's three slots in the station and three slots on the train. I also like this one because the vendors are built right in. So when you come into the entrance of it, you got this dirt path and you got a vendor here, you got the photo vendor here, you've got another vendor here with cotton candy, you've also got a little pond here with a um, frog, I know you really can't see it that well. I also like the fact that when you move the chain, these tires move to help it along and it doesn't get stuck. Now I've seen some review videos where people talk about this thing getting stuck. I have never had mine get stuck. Uh, it probably will. Here, there it goes. All right, and it's got a tree here as well. I like the vibrant colors in the vendors. I also like the color scheme of this and the other one too. They're both got great color schemes. I think they're great two products, and it also has the camera here as well as like the other one does, where it takes pictures. And of course, it's supposed to be like this, but grandkids and other kids have played with this so um anyway and the seagull here i love the seagull nice little touch so anyway i really like this uh the, both of them i think they're both uh, great products um and i don't think they really compete with each other because this is just a regular roller coaster this is a loop roller coaster and if you went to king's island or hershey's park or any of those places it's going to be the same way they're going to have different roller coasters for different things no roller coaster has it all and so that's why I like the fact that they have two different roller coasters. All right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed the time I put into it. And if you do, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, leave me a comment below and turn on all notifications. If you need some parts and pieces for your mocks and mods, head to my store on BrickLink. It's called A Chip Off the Old Block. We have a little over 800,000 pieces with $250,000 $250, pieces in the queue ready to be loaded in my store as soon as I get a moment to sort, which will be almost never, but I will get there. All right, guys, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you on the next video.